Hi there, this is Morgan with Morgan Burks Photography and Product Shop, and today I'm going to show you how to use a gradient map to make an image black and white. So this is the photo that I'm going to be working on, um, and as you can see, my colors are already set to black and white. Um, if yours aren't, don't you don't have to worry about it. You can change them here if you want, or you can wait until you get inside the adjustment and you can change them there. So I'm going to select this little circular button down here, and then select Gradient Map from the Flyout menu. Okay, so since my colors were already set to black and white, um, it has adjusted the photo accordingly. Um, if yours ends up looking something like this, don't freak out. Just check the reverse box um, or uncheck it if it was already checked. Um, if you want to tweak your black and white a little bit, you can just double click this gradient bar. Um, if you're looking for a regular standard black and white, I would leave these colors black and white. Um, but if you want to tweak it a little or add some fun color or something like that, you can do that in here as well. So I always make sure that my shadow color is on, over here on the left and that my highlight color is over here on the right. So since this gradient is already set up like that, I don't have to switch these around. Um, but if you do, you can just double click this knob down here and you can change the color. So if you wanted to make it more of a sepia colored black and white, you can come and grab like a brown color. Um, can we grab a little bit of a darker brown color? And the darker you get, the more contrasted your black and white is going to be. Um, and the same goes with the, oops, let me cancel this. The same goes with the highlight. Um, the darker the highlight that you choose, the, the less contrast or the more filled in it's going to be. I hope that makes sense. So if you want the regular black and white, you'll make sure that your shadow is set to black and your foreground, I mean your highlight color is set to white. Here you can make it a little bit of a cream color, well not quite that much. Um, you can come in here, you can grab a warmer color, you can adjust these um, as you wish and maybe just grab like a color like that. So it's kind of a, a twist on the sepia tone. Instead of changing the shadows to the sepia color, you could change the highlights and then you get more of a, a moody look like that. So again, if you're not interested in colored black and whites, you can leave this black and white um, and you can have fun playing around in here with colors too. So that's that. And um, also if you wanted to tweak this black and white from there, let's say you wanted to make it a matte um, effect or something like that, you can do that on top of the gradient map. So you can um, maybe open a curves layer and then you can adjust these bars in here. Um, and then, so this is just, I lifted the shadows a little to mat it out and I lowered the highlights. Then you can add a little contrast back in here if you want to by making a little S in the, um, the line. So there is a little matte effect over your new black and white. So if you hold down the Alt key on your background layer, you can turn that on and off and see your new adjustment. Um, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. If you have any questions, you can email me at morgan at morganburks.com or you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash morganburksphotography. Thanks so much. Have a great day.